Yo, that's right guys, today we are taking over at Hanover 96. We begin our journey with a team that spent 30 years in the Bundesliga before they dropped out in 2019. Currently, they find themselves in the second division. Our mission is to get them playing top flight football, winning trophies along the way. We want to compete with the best of the best in Germany. And we want to take on Europe. Welcome to the Hanover 96 career mode series. Let's get into the video. What's up guys? Yes, I am super excited for this series. I'm Wanderlust, a FIFA YouTuber. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let's get straight into this. And right off the bat here guys, we have a big decision to make. Which preseason tournament do we decide to partake in? We've got the European Shields, three and a half stars, 2.7 prize money. The European International Cup, that's also three and a half stars, 3.4 prize money. And we've got the Champions Trophy, three and a half stars as well, 2.56 prize money. I'm going to go straight down the middle with the European Shield. It's 2.7 million that we could have in our locker. But as you know guys, preseason is all about getting the fitness up and it's also to see which players could be in your starting 11 come the start of the season. So I've got my book here. I'm going to be taking notes, seeing which players play super well in preseason so that I know who more or less will be in that starting 11 come day one. Let's get into the European Shield. So on today's episode, we're going to focus on what the club wants from us as manager. Also, what goals and objectives we want for this club this season. We're going to take a look at the budget, the formation, tactics, changing that up a bit, and we're going to be building a list of transfers. Let's start it here. As you can see, this is the club's objectives for us. The objectives overview says sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall ratings of players currently in the same position. I did that because of the youth academy. I was able to sign two players. I released the rest because they were not good. So at least we did complete this one already. The cup, the DFP Pokal, it's reached the round of 16 stage. So obviously we have to push ourselves quite hard there against the best of the best. Bundesliga 2, it's gain automatic promotion. But I don't just want to gain automatic promotion. I want to win the league this season. When it comes to youth development, we've got one more thing to tick off in our short term goals. It is sign one player in your youth academy assigned to the defender position. So that's easy money. We'll get that done, sorted as soon as possible. For brand exposure, the short term goal, get a streak of 10 games without defeat in home matches this season. Financial, sell two players and sign two crucial players to replace them. Finish the season without any unspent transfer budget. Okay, so that's selling two players and getting two players in. That's perfect for us. We will need the money, so that's perfect. Domestic success, we've already seen what we need to accomplish in the short term. Then the continental success, unfortunately, we're not in Europe this season, but in future seasons, this will become a priority for us. So with a squad like this, I'm probably going to want to sell the older players and get in higher potential players, bringing them in. We'll be able to develop in the squad, staying in the squad for longer. We could then potentially sell off for a lot more and getting even better players in. Right now, this is what the squad looks like. I'm going to change the formation. I do not like how narrow we're going to play. I like playing wide. So I'm going to try and look a little bit here, see what we can do. In terms of the formation department, I know that a couple players can actually play in the wings. Definitely think I'm gonna try and play this 4-3-3 formation here. As you can see, Muslia can play on that left mid side and the right mid side if we decide to put him there. But I do think I'm gonna put in Dutch as main striker and bring in Mayna in that right mid. Bujol, who can play in that central midfielder position, I am gonna develop him to be able to play fully in that central mid position, but he has the ability to play as a CDM in this role. Isaac can play as a central mid. He's 70 rated, he's our captain right now, but I do think we need to replace him. Haraguchi's 29 years old, 74 rated, the best player in our team right now. Honestly, I think right now at 29 years old, we can sell him off and get a little bit of money in so we can get a better player. Holt is a good player, but I am going to try and look to bring in a fullback this season. In the center back position, also pretty decent players, but unfortunately, I do not think we're going to be able to get us to the Bundesliga, so I'm going to try and get us a center back as well. Do we have quite pacey fullbacks, which is really good for us because I like to push them forward. Um, and it's also good because they can come back when we do need them. So I am going to try and play a tactics which allows them to push forward, get there, get crosses into the box. We have Mena and Muslia, who I really want to push forward, but I also really want to get into the box so there's more options for goal scoring. The cam position, whoever does fill it, is also going to stay on the edge of the box there. So I am going to put that there for them. They need to pick those balls up, pass it through into those front three players, or have a pop off right at the edge of the box. Two central midfielders, I don't want them pushing too high. I kind of want them sitting. So, you know, if there is a counter attack, that they can get the ball quickly, distribute it out to either the wingers or the fullbacks. In terms of defense, I want us to have pressure on possession loss. Our width, I want us to be a little bit wider than usual. And depth, I want us to push up a bit. I know that means that we can get exposed in the back and people can play over us, but I do honestly think having a higher line allows us to get the ball quicker, distribute the ball out quicker, and get us to the front and scoring goals. In offense, I hate the long ball, so I'm going to try to be playing a fast build-up. We're going to have quite a wide team. We're going to have three players in the box, one on the edge of the box, 
And in terms of corners, we're going to have four. In terms of free kicks, also four. In terms of instructions, we're going to start at the top. Muslia, you are going to come back on defense. I would like him there. I'd also like him to free roam so that he can get tucked in there into the box when needed. We want him to get in behind. We want aggressive interceptions and we wanted to get into the box for crosses. We're gonna do the exact same thing for Mena. This cam position, whoever does play it will, will come back on defense. We want him staying on the edge of the box, sticking to that position and aggressive interceptions. We want them to stay back while attacking. I think we'll probably say cover the center, like them joining the attack, aggressive interceptions, and, and we want them to overlap. And uh, in terms of goalkeepers, I want him to come for crosses and I want him to be a sweeper keeper, which means we are gonna probably have to get another goalkeeper in to fill that role. Here we are guys, the first preseason game. I'm gonna be summing the match because I wanna watch it, analyze it, take notes, and see who is playing well in this formation, in these tactics, and who maybe needs to be developed a little bit more, who needs to be replaced as well. We know exactly what we want come the first day of the season. Okay, so after the first preseason match, which we did draw, it looks like everyone drew. I have some notes here. So, in terms of this match, I see that center backs can't play out from the back. I noticed that immediately, that when they get the ball, they just seem to clear it out, or they cannot pass it to screw to their wing backs out into the midfield either. Wingers themselves were passing very weakly. When the full backs were overlapping, they tried to pass it to them, but they were hitting it way, way too hard and was going out for a goal kick. We have a solid midfield, but unfortunately, there's no options wide because it seems like the full backs were not going anywhere. They were kind of sticking to their position and not trying to overlap. The wingers themselves were tucking in, which is good because they're free roaming, but the wing backs unfortunately weren't going over to provide that space. However, when I brought Filet in at left center back, this is when things started to change. His passing is actually a lot better than the other two center backs. He can play out from the back. For some reason, as soon as we brought him in, for some reason, the wing backs got the confidence to push up, overlap. Same thing with the wingers. They got the confidence to tuck in, get those runs in, and we scored our first goal. I think having the confidence of that center back who can distribute from the back allows us to pass more decisively. It got us the first goal. I did make some substitutions towards the end of the game, which unfortunately resulted in us drawing the match. However, knowing that now, Filet is gonna come in at left center back. I can see if we can play better in the second preseason game. Yes, guys, another draw. It happened right at the end, yet again, right at the end of the game there. We lost concentration mentally. We were not switched on, and unfortunately, we draw our next game. Now, in this game, I see that we pressured the opponent's box way more this time, which I'm really pleased with. The wingers, the wingbacks, the striker, they were all pressuring that box there, and I was really happy with that. A lot better runs from the wingbacks and the wingers, as well as the striker, and that led to the goal which we scored. Something that I didn't like though is that we were going primarily through the midfield. All the runs were going through the midfield until the end of the game where all of a sudden we're now going into the wings, but that left us exposed in the midfield for some reason. It's quite confusing. Defensively, we need work. We do need a wingback, and we do need another center back, which means we're probably gonna have to sell center back we have way too many center backs in the squad we're in the third game guys hopefully we can get a victory this time the players are rested up a little bit more than that second game so let's get into it and i'll see how we did get in lads we won the game 1-0 we scored in the first half playing those wings getting into the box and scoring a goal it was a little bit of a messy goal there but fortunately for us we do get through into the semi-finals of this competition which means we get some money in that's great it was pretty much more of the same i can see the fitness and the technique and the understanding of the tactics and the formation is starting to come in now which i'm really really pleased with Ooh, guys we just got through the semi-finals there it was a penalty shootout we won 5-4 and i didn't show you guys but 828,000 pounds in the budget. Here we are guys, it is Hanover versus Tenerife. Let's see if we can win this competition. I'm gonna quick sum it. Uh, the players are pretty tired. That's front up there is pretty tired, but we're gonna see if we can win against Tenerife. We do win it. We win 4-3 on penalties. That's really good. I'm happy with that. We get more money in now. How much is that actually? So with that 1.2 million pounds in the budget, we now have a transfer budget of 20.9 million. That's pretty tasty. We got a good wage budget with 80,000 as well. Obviously we can change and chop and change that. My main thing right now is Haraguchi is going to go. 
we have to sell him. If we want a player in, if we want a central attacking midfielder in, we are going to have to sell him. Hoping we can get a really good transfer for Haraguchi. He is valued at 3.7 million, so hopefully we can get around there. Maybe a bit more, we'll see. But as you can see here, guys, we are going to sell some players now. We've got Tarnat, who's going to go, and we've got Elez, who's also going to go. As you can see, guys, I have been looking in the transfer market. We do have a couple players I want to bring in. As you can see here, we have Darame. He can play as a right mid striker and left mid. He's 18 years old, 68 rated, with a high potential. He's only 18 and can play across that front line. Is a player I really want to bring in. We've got Kuasi as well, 67 rated. He's 22 years old he can play in central defensive midfield and center mid i think he could be a really really good player for us same thing with Kenner. he can play cdm center back and central midfield now look his defending is not that good but i think if we train him up a bit he'll be able to defend brilliantly and play in that back line being a really good ball playing defender we've also got frank who i do want to play in that central midfield position we do have an injured player so he'll be a brilliant player to bring in and finally joshua wachnerman playing in at right back and left back. He can even play in at left mid. He's 70 rated, a good player, 19 years old, a player I definitely, definitely want to bring in. But here we go, guys. It is the first day of the league campaign. We are versus Nuremberg. We are at home. But that's going to end it here, guys.